Okay, thank you for joining me today. Today, I'm going to show you this really cool program that many people wondering how to do this. Um, a lot of people want to broadcast their their computer screen or just record it. Um, a lot of people use Camp Studio to record, but that does not broadcast. Now, people who use Justin.tv or Livestream.com, a lot of them people who use that they want to broadcast their screen and the only way to do that is to use a program that sets your screen up as a webcam to be used so basically there's a simple program I like it's it's a really cool program it's called ManyCam um, unfortunately when I installed it I did not install it onto my screen so it does not show up I have to search for it but I know where it is but it's called ManyCam, and it's really, it's a really good program because it's free, completely free, and it can be found on Download.com. I will include the link in the description. But it's it's called ManyCam, and it's very simple. It's it's just like any old application. Double click, um, it loads up, and if if you look down here, it appears down here in the very bottom. Okay. Um, and right now, it you double click it, and it pulls up the window where you can add all these effects to it. You have avatars, which could be this stuff, bear masks. That's if you're using an actual webcam. So there you go. There's two things right there. You can do webcam too. Click the sources tab. You see that you can broadcast desktop, blank images, still images, snapshots, movies, and your webcam or a USB attached webcam. Um, your full desktop, partial desktop, your own custom set. <laughs> then you have all these effects, like I put on the USA flag and the Italian flag, which can be moved around. So it definitely has some cool things. If you have, if you're using a webcam, you can do clouds. You can do backgrounds, and you can always download more from their website. Um, there's other effects you can put on, and you can even draw on top of the video if you wanted to. It's it's that awesome. So, um, a date you can put you can print the date and time on there, the clock, and you can put that on if you wanted to, or you can even put the many many cam logo in the bottom. It's a very cool tool. Um, I enjoy it using it. I really do. I like using it quite a lot. Um, it, it's it's a very cool tool. It's like I said, it uses multiple sources. It's as you can see, it's watching my screen right now. Um, I don't use it for recording, but I do use it when I do live stream, like broadcasts like that. And you can, it'll broadcast whatever you want. Um, and it and it's pretty full in real time. You know, it's not too framey looking, but you close it and it's still down here running, so you don't even have to worry about it. If you want to close it, you just right click, hit exit. That's it. Boom, it's gone. You're done. But it sets it up as a webcam. So basically, you just head to your live stream and you choose to you choose to broadcast it. You know, you live stream or justin.tv or something similar to this. Hit the broadcast now, brings up the little box, you choose your webcam, you choose your mic. Well, for the webcam, what you would pick is for the webcam, you'd pick, like, uh, see, here you go, plug in your camera, start your own channel, blah, blah, blah. So, to broadcast, you need to create an account on wh whatever site you're using. I'm just using mine to show you here. But after you log in and you create your account, all you have to do, basically, is you can head back to the main site and click the broadcast now box which will pull up the broadcaster it's gonna load do its thing you know that whole thing yeah so it you know you'll you'll be greeted with something similar to this each one's a little different you have to allow it there you go. Please start ManyCam. See, here's here's where you can change it in your settings tab. Uh, 
or you may not have tabs but it should be on there somewhere you'll have a couple things listed if you have webcams or whatever I don't have a webcam currently but I, this is see many cam virtual webcam which can be used to show a webcam or it can be used to show my desktop here's the microphone or I could change that to my stereo it doesn't matter but so if I wanted to I would start up the program from the mini cam and I would so I can show you guys how it works so now see there you go if you look over here now it's broadcasting my screen alright it's seeing what I'm seeing so it's really a very cool tool uh, I'll post the link in the description box for the program again it's called Minicam I'm using version 2.4 it, uh, it's a good program thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe